Python on hardware news. This week there's a lot going on in the world of Python on hardware. So we are in Python 6 mode and LAN still. And one of the things that we're doing is a lot of deep sleep. So one of the things I keep asking about and I'd like folks to consider is please make some deep sleep examples. We want to test this. We want to do stuff with this. We have uh, guides out, the naughty or nice one. I think that'd be a good one for folks to start to look at you, where you can hit a spreadsheet online. Um, please test out all these things because we want to make sure. Almost all of our project guides right now use deep sleep. So yeah. if, you're, if you try out one of our guides, check, you know, grab the code. And, uh, you know, chances are um, it goes into deep sleep, and so it's a great way to try it out and let us know if it doesn't wake up like it's supposed to. Yeah. And uh, things from our newsletter this week. So uh, we spotlight and highlight the low power support available on ESP32 S2. Um, we hit 26,000 people on Discord. Some of you are in there right now. PyCon 2021 was announced. Um, one thing that's really important this year with... Uh, and next year is the Python Foundation is doing a fundraiser right now, and they also need your help for PyCon. It's going to be virtual, and that is their big chunk of money. So um, because they don't have an in-person event, the Python Foundation does a ton. You can help them. So go to us.pycon.org, and please consider getting a ticket. Uh, please consider donating to the Python Software Foundation. We have a bunch of information about that on our site as well. We'll be getting the word out over the next 22 days. And then news in our community, Lady 8 will be keynoting the Linux Conf over in Australia, but you're going to be here doing it virtually. That's right. And you'll be talking about Blinka and how CircuitPython and, and Python is snaking its way to embedded Linux. That's right. Don't be talking about that. Um, every single year, GitHub does a uh, State of the Octaverse, and they have some really good folks who are doing it now. Um, this was, I think, one of the best years with the most, like, well, for me it was interesting data. Uh, so JavaScript, number one language. Python is now number two. That's pretty neat. Java going to third place. And then you see TypeScript. Really getting, jumped up Getting there. up there. Yeah. And you can see the rest of the languages. But I thought that was kind of cool. And that makes sense. By the way, it was uh, JavaScript's 25th birthday uh, yeah. during the week. Yeah. During the week this week. Uh, I had to go to archive.org and look at the announcement on Netscape, and like AOL was like, this is going to be a big deal. Um, Did so, they ever explain why it's called JavaScript? Like, yeah, it's obviously you, not really. Yeah, I have a blog post. I have a blog post. They actually talk about okay. the, the idea of Java and standards, JavaScript. Okay. A um, couple other uh, neat tidbits. Uh, Anne helped out with this. Open source development jumps up during the weekends, of course. 35% um, more repos were created in 2020 than 2019, 25% more contributions to open source projects this year. So even during COVID, people are doing a bunch of open right source. code. That's kind of neat. Uh, have Scott's deep dive. You can check that out. And then we have our news around the web. I thought this was neat. Someone used an e-ink display with pie hole so you can see how many ads are blocked with MacTac. Yeah, that's, that's a good fun. idea. Um, and then... Uh, other bits and odds and ends in the world of Python, check it out. We have a jam-packed newsletter that you can read. That's right. Every single week, we put it all in there. We're up to about 283 libraries. Um, here's a coming soon. This is from Oak Tech Dev, or sorry, Oak Dev Tech. Um, this is a little tiny ESP32 board, S2. And then you can check out Anne's Space X launch and Jepler's uh, project. I think we showed this last week or so. This is you pedal. And the YouTube video plays. Yes. And more conferences and events. Um, the Open Hardware Summit will be starting uh, next year. They're all uh, April 9th, and they're also taking sponsorships now. I'm going to do that like tomorrow morning. And uh, that is our Python and Hardware News for the week. Yay, Blinka!